Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, but most importantly, welcome back to beautiful Nicaragua. And right behind me here is an off-grid cabin that we've been building the past two years. And last week, we finally got around to installing our full solar setup. So we're officially off-grid, water and electricity. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my whole setup, what I bought, how I set it up, and most importantly, how much I paid and how much power I'm producing. Hopefully this helps you out if you're thinking about building abroad or you're interested in solar setups or specifically for building a solar setup in Nicaragua. So let's go ahead and go up to the roof because we're gonna start with our solar panels and let's jump right in. Now the cost for these solar panels, they were $145 each. So $1,160, we can round it up to 1200 bucks. That's how much we spent on solar panels. Now, when we were sizing the system, we needed to make sure that we had enough solar panels because we are in the rainy area of Nicaragua. It's a tropical country, it rains a lot. There's a microclimate that comes over our coffee farm. That's what makes our coffee taste amazing, by the way. But that means also that we don't get sunlight eight hours a day. We only get like really good sunlight, like three to four hours a day. So we calculated everything based off of that. And we'll go into more detail later. But 1200 bucks for solar panels. Let's jump into the circuit area, how much we spent on batteries and inverters. All right, guys, we're still finishing things up, so it's a little bit messy, but let's go back into the magical room and I'll show you. Welcome to this beautiful electrical setup here. This whole setup that you see here was done by us at the farm and it was our first time. So if you didn't catch that video, there's a video on my channel us doing that. Uh, but what I want to say about this solar setup is that a lot of this was shipped from the US into Nicaragua. So there's gonna be a section about shipping costs that I'll go more into later in the video. But for right now, I'll give you the cost as is, like if you're buying it from the website. And we're gonna start with these bad boys here. So when you're setting up a solar system, a lot of your battery size is gonna be dependent on how much power you consume, what you're trying to power, how much sunlight you have. For us, we came down to that we needed two battery bags. So we got a 5.1K, a 5.1K. So we have a little over 10,000 watts of power here and they were running a deal at the Sun Gold website and I was able to get them for $2,300. So $1,150 each battery. And I think that is a very good deal. From there, I had it shipped to Nicaragua, which I'll tell you the cost after. Afterwards, we got the cost for our breaker. So this is a 200 amp breaker, and then we have a 20 amp breaker. So this amp right here, this is where the solar panels come into, and then it feeds into our inverter. And then this breaker here is where our battery comes from, and it goes into this breaker and it goes into our inverter. So we wanted to put this for safety. Now, in terms of breaker, we ended up spending around $250 in both these breakers to have a nice area that is set up safely. Now let's go to the famous inverter here. So this inverter is a 5,000 watt inverter and it can handle up to the eight solar panels that I have, eventually 500 volts. Now your inverter is gonna be uh, determined based on the, your solar setup and what you're looking to do. So for us, we found this one here and it was good, it's nice. You can still connect a generator you can connect electrical from the city, meaning you can have the city power in here that can charge the batteries and then you can have it charged from the sun also. But for us, since we're fully off grid, we're only using sun. And we ended up paying $794 for this bad boy here. And it's been great. We haven't had any issues. Now, last but not least for our cost right here is our circuit breaker area. So essentially from the battery, it goes to our inverters and then from there, this is the house circuit breaker area. And we spent around $170 for the whole setup, which includes the box and all the circuit breakers that you see here. So the whole setup was done internally, was ordered online, and we had it shipped over here with the exception of the solar panels. Additionally, we also had some other costs that I'm gonna tell you about right now. All right, my coffee familia, we're almost done with the total amount of money we spent here. But before we do, we just need to add in a few more items. So we did end up spending money on tools because we did this DIY out here in the mountains. So we spent around, let's see here, $225 on random tools to connect everything. We also spent money on wires. So wires can get costly because the wires from the battery to the inverter are pretty thick since there's a lot of amperage. And also the wires from the solar panel to the circuit breaker area, it's a long distance. So we ended up spending $650. And in there also was MC4 connectors, zip ties, and a bunch of little random things. Now, the big ticket item here is the shipping. So I ended up buying majority of this in the States. 
and you may ask yourself why didn't I buy this in Nicaragua well this project that we're building out here in this beautiful coffee farm is in the mountains of Nicaragua and we're tucked very far up north Nicaragua about a seven hour away from the capital so because we're so far away from the capital I didn't want to spend all that time looking for items so I rather had paid the money for shipping and get it over here effectively fast and I knew exactly what I was buying so I ended up spending $1,200 on shipping to get everything the batteries the inverters the fuses the breakers the wires the tools the only thing I bought here was basically the solar panels here in Nicaragua there are services that will bring your items into the country for $3 a pound if you want to do ocean if you're not in a rush it takes around three to four weeks or you can pay $7 a pound and get it here in two weeks but nevertheless how much money did we spend drum roll let's check it out so factoring everything else in everything that I just told you out the door we spent a total of $6,946 for this whole setup off grid in Nicaragua now I would say you can round it up to $7,000 since we did install it ourselves we saved some costs there comment below what do you think is that expensive it's a little bit close to 10,500 kilowatts that we have here on the cabin itself and now let's jump right in inside the cabin and I'll show you what we're powering here now this cabin since it's a farm cabin we wanted to go with appliances that are energy efficient and small we didn't want anything big you can see this fridge is actually pretty small look how tiny this is here uh, and this fridge consumes around 700 watts in one day so it, it's manageable for our system right and it's pretty light so besides the fridge we're also powering a Starlink for our Wi-Fi since we're completely off grid the signal is pretty bad here and it's been amazing now inside the cabin you pretty much have your basic lights system here so we bought uh, lights that are energy efficient but we ended up putting a lot of lights in the ceiling we installed over 18 lights so right now you guys are in the living room area and that's the kitchen and this is the room and then we also have a downstairs so this is our downstairs right here that we're still finishing up and we have a bunch of recess lighting so factor in everything for the batteries we factor in all this lighting charging our phones our camera gear to run this channel to make videos for you guys our laptops and the Starlink a washer and dryer and essentially anything small appliances that we might have and that's how we came with the calculation that we needed around 5,000 to 4,000 watts per day and that's how we set up our solar unit so now technically this setup here has an empty space for another battery in the future so we can hold one more battery and it will give us a total of around 16,000 watts once we're ready to expand but for right now we're gonna do with this and we'll see how everything goes if you like this video check out this video right here or I think it's right here I forgot where I'm gonna put it of us installing the whole solar setup <laughs> 